This video provides instruction on how to read and write uh, algebraic inequalities. Um, so first, an inequality is defined as uh, a comparison between two values showing if one is less than, greater than, or simply not equal to another value. So this scale here on the left with the 3 and the 10, we know that the 10 side is greater than 3. So that's an example of an inequality. Uh, most of you have already worked with equations. So the example on the right where you have the scale, it's balanced. An equation, we use the equal sign to show that the left side and the right side are exactly the same value. So let's look at some examples. So we can read this first example here as x is greater than negative 6 if we read left to right. Now, you can also read inequalities backwards. You can read them from right to left. If you read it right to left, you'd say negative 6 is less than x. Either way, our dividing point is that negative 6. And so what we're going to use on the number line at negative 6, we're going to put a point. And in this case, we're going to put an open point to represent that it does not include negative 6. The negative 6 is not part of the solution. All right, so then we want the values that are greater than negative 6. So that would be like negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, 0, 7, and so on. If I go left of the dividing point, go negative 7, is negative 7 greater than negative 6? No, that's false. That side does not work. So our ray points to the truth, to the right side. So it's all these values that are greater than the dividing point, which is negative 6. The dividing point is not included in the solution. All right? Look at this next one. We have x is less than or equal to 6, reading left to right. If you read it backwards, uh, 6 is greater than or equal to x. So either way, our dividing point is positive 6 this time. And notice how it's, it's less than or equal to, all right? x is less than or equal to 6. That means at 6, it's going to be a solid point because our dividing point is part of the solution. It's included because that's when it's equal. All right. Now, what values of x are less than 6? Well, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, and so on. Right? If I go right of the dividing point, 7, 8, 9, 10, those values are all larger than 6, so they're not part of the solution. So we're going to go to the left. Um, next one, x is less than 2, so I have an open point at 2. And then which values are less than 2? As I go to the left, 1, 0, negative 1, and so on. So this one's going to point in this direction. So again, the dividing point, one half of it is the solution, either the right or left side, and the other half is the non-solution. It doesn't work. So look at something they gave it to us backwards. Uh, 1 is greater than or equal to x, if you read it left to right. If you read it backwards, it's simply x is less than or equal to 1. So our dividing point is 1. It's a solid point. And then let's substitute 0 in for x. So 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Is that true or false? That is true. So we point to the truth. Let's just double check. Let's try 2. Is 1 greater than or equal to 2? No, that's false. So we did it right. All right, the next one is 4 is greater than x. Or read it backwards, x is less than 4. So we want to open point at 4 as your dividing point. And then let's test the value left of 4. Let's use 0. So 4 is greater than 0. True story. Let's try a value to right of the dividing point. Let's try 6. 4 greater than 6, that is false. So we are going to go to the truth. There's our ray. Last one here. 3 is less than or equal to x. If you read it backwards, right to left, it's going to be x is greater than or equal to 3. So our dividing point is 3. We want a solid point at 3. And then we can test. Let's test x equals 0. Uh, substitute 0 in for x. I get 3 is less than or equal to 0. No, that's false. Okay, let's try a number bigger than 3. How about 5? 3 is, is less than or equal to 5. That is true. So our ray goes to the right this time. Okay. 
All right, so now let's let's start with the, the number line and then write the inequality. So this first one here, our dividing point is the zero. Oops, my pen's not working. The dividing point is zero, and we want we know it represents x, and then it's going from zero to negative one, negative two, negative three. So the values are getting smaller. So we're going to say x is less than zero. And then we're going to note that, oh, that's a solid point at zero. So zero is included. So it's less than or equal to zero. Could you write it the other way? Sure, you could write zero and x here. And then you're going to say, well, zero is greater than is greater than or equal to x if you wrote it backwards right all right next one uh we have the dividing point is six and it's uh, representing x here and it's six seven eight nine ten then the values are getting larger so it's going to be x is greater than six and since it's open dot, it's not equal to. So it's just x is greater than 6. If we wrote it backwards, it would be, you say, 6 is less than x. That would be another way of writing it. Next one, our dividing point is 0 again. Um, this time it's going to the right. And so it's going 1, 2, 3, 4. Those values are getting larger than 0. So we're going to say x is greater than zero and again solid point here for the dividing point so include zero so it's greater than or equal to zero next one here we have the dividing point is six and from six it's getting smaller five four three two one zero negative one and so on so we're going to say x is less than six okay again it doesn't include six open point at six uh, next one, the dividing point's at 3. And from there, it's getting smaller, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, and so on. And so you're going to say x is less than 3. Solid point at 3 includes it. So 3 is included, so it's less than or equal to 3. And last one here, our dividing point's at negative 3. And then from negative 3, it's negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. It's getting larger. So x is greater than negative 3, and it's not included. The dividing point's not included, so it's not equal to. All right? I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.